this is our 45 foot flex draper. So on your draper, you got these sickle sections in here. You have guards that go on here. These are your guards. You have hold downs and you have your sickle bar. So what we want to do is we want to look, see if they have broken sickle sections. We need to replace those whenever they get broke. Otherwise, we're not going to cut very good. So I got to go down this whole thing and see what's broken. And then I'll replace the stuff that's broken. This one? Yeah. Man, I need an impact this thing. I my car's getting a workout in today. I've gone up and down this head like three or four times and I found one single section this morning that's broken. That's like never happened before. There's no way. There's no way. There's too many rocks. Oh, wow. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. Probably more than that. Oh. And now we're going to start losing bolts out the bottom. Because that's what happens when you have gravity. Get these bigger nuts off. Clean it off here. This is what's called your hold down. Take that off. And then, typically, we're missing a bolt here, it looks like. But typically, we have four bolts per sickle section on the impact. Get those. Loosen and off of there. Nope. This one, because it's on the end, on the we have to the bolt. take more of these off so we can get in here. The hard part isn't getting them out. The hard part is putting them back in. Sure, we're in beans right now, so uh, that makes sense. And then it'll tell me the bushels. And if I go to the details of the field, it'll tell me everything. <clears throat> everything I got: my grower name, my farm name, my field name, uh, my grain cart name here. Uh, my 2596. What we're doing? We're in soybeans, and then it'll tell me in pounds what the field's done in total. And then uh, in bushels, what I've gotten so far. I have my acres here. This is 535 there. And then the yield is wrong until the end of the field because it calculates. This calculates the total. It takes the total number of bushels and it calculates it with the acres. And obviously, we don't have this field all the way done yet. So when it is all the way done, it'll give us an accurate number. Okay, so this is a perfect explanation of machine thing right here. So I'm following him. Oh, there he goes, he's driving his head back to his beans. And I'm staying the same speed as he is. He controls my speed. So that tracking up there lets me know that I'm locked to him. So I, I don't have to touch anything in here. I'm not touching the steering wheel, no the pedals, no the controls, nothing. All I have to do is get inside that box and hit my button, and it'll bring me right under the auger here. And then he can dump into me. If we want, I can move myself a little bit forward. So that moves me three and a half feet forward. And then we can go back. He can also do the same thing to me. I got a question. Don't wait for the 
on my wearing beans right now. What am I supposed to do? For like 20 minutes, I gotta wait for it. What, what's everybody else doing? I have no idea. Do I sit here and talk to myself? Do I sit here and listen to the radio? Do I listen to podcasts? Do I listen to music? Do I watch movies? I mean, I tried it all. Just get bored. So I'm just fun. As long as he doesn't plug it again, I'm good to go. Got the combine and the head moved, and there's the cart. This is one of the trucks that's loaded. Our truck drivers are currently working on an auger that's down, so I'll show you the light show here. I need to start it so the build's prepared for. And check, make sure it's a neutral. We're good. Time to move this thing. Off we go. shot here. Here. 